Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. It's Friday morning, it's time for a shave. I wanna thank you all. Uh, we've had a lot of entries in the uh, Ken Surfs limited edition 2021 shaving brush uh, uh, video. And actually we'll be probably ending that, well, I will be ending that contest today at uh, 12 noon. And I'll probably announce the winner this weekend. I've got a full day tomorrow. Got going to see the in-laws, so I don't know if I'll announce the winner on Saturday. The contest will be over, but the winner will be chosen. But uh, it'll probably be Saturday or Sunday when I announce that. But today, I get to try out some new products, and I'm especially interested in trying out the Eau de Parfum. I usually just say cologne, but uh, from uh, Naughton & Wilson in London. So this is made in England. It's uh, from the Naughton and Wilson Company. This is their second release. Uh, you've probably seen my uh, video uh, of the previous release and uh, I really enjoyed that one. This is a little different scent. It's, uh, let's see, it's got citrus, uh, cipher is it? Uh, blended with herbs, spices, twist of British gin. You know, you gotta, gotta have your British gin, man. And uh, base notes are Haitian vetiver and cedar wood. All I know is it smells pretty darn good. It, it, it's got to, it reminds me of some of my favorite higher end uh, colognes that I was using in uh, the 80s and 90s. And uh, my wife, uh, I put it on, it seems to last for a, you know quite a long time. Problem is I get used to the scent, so I can't smell it anymore after you know four hours. But my wife, oh yeah, I can still smell it. So it's long lasting, you know, I mean, uh, Oude Parfum is one of the stronger ones. So uh, you're gonna be paying a little more for this. I think this is about a hundred and a half for, uh, for this bottle, but it's not something you're using every day. It's more of a special occasion. And a special occasion today for me is I'm gonna be shaving off this goatee, uh, getting clean cut again, and it's Friday, and I'm gonna be taking my wife out a bit later today. So I'm going to, uh, this evening, so I'm gonna be trying this out this morning and getting all ready. In fact, I'm gonna open the bottle and get it ready today. It's nice to see uh, companies that have, actually it's probably been a year or so since they started, but uh, they are based in uh, England. And that's it right there. Very nice. And in case you're interested, there we go, made in England. So I'm gonna be using this today. Let me set this aside. I'm not gonna be using it as an aftershave by no means. I'm gonna use an aftershave balm that's very neutral. I'm gonna be using a Nivea Men today, just as the aftershave balm. I'm gonna be using, from England, Taylor of Old Bond Street, uh, tobacco leaf. So I'm gonna be using this today as the shaving cream and I'm gonna need it. Now the razor I had originally intended on using uh, did not materialize. So I'm gonna use my old trusty Mula R41 and I gotta knock this down guys so I'm gonna use a feather blade so that is that now I'm gonna be using I got a new brush uh, from uh, Yaki Shave Company and this one looks kind of cool but actually now they've got this nice almost like a glasses polishing cloth that uh, comes with their brushes I don't quite know well I guess you could polish your razor with it too I'm gonna use the synthetic and this is the new Yankee brush. I have links that I, I <laughs> one thing I've gotta do is I gotta get on the ball a little better. I, I, I hope the company send me the link so I can get you directly to this, but I went to their site and I believe I found uh, the link that's gonna get you directly to this brush. I'm gonna be using this for the first time today. It's synthetic, tuxedo knot. But it's got kind of a cool handle. I really like that. And I see they're putting medallions on some of the Yaki brushes now. So let me put this into the crystal skull. Let it sit there. It's a little bit too full. Now, what also came, I haven't seen these before. I might be late to the party. I often am. But uh, from uh, Yaki Brush Company, they have a razor stand. And I thought it's kind of cool. Check this out. They've made a handle into a, it's got the drain hole, into a, a razor stand. So the possibilities are endless on that because that company has a lot of brushes and your razor fits right in there. So it's kind of a cool stand. So I've been using this. I've got this right out here on the shelf in front of me. All right, 
enough talking, Ken. Let's see what we can do with this. Hopefully I get away with <laughs> no cuts. <laughs> I'm hoping. So we're gonna use a feather today, a new feather. Let me take the feather out. Very good, got the feather blade here. How's your week? Mine, surprisingly, was uh, very, very, very busy, or I would have been popping out a few more of these videos. There we go. But if I can quote Dazed and Confused, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. <laughs> I'll stick with that, that uh, scenario. All right, so we got the feather blade right there. Let's uh, load it. I'm sufficiently caffeinated this morning. I've had my big 16 ounce coffee and that's helping me out a lot. Oh, sometimes people say, hey man, I wanna see it in there. There you go. Maybe he's putting a Wilkinson sword in there. No, that's a feather. So this is an aggressive razor with a very, very, very sharp, aggressive blade in it. Hopefully that will cut through this today. All right, <sighs> let's get set up. So let's take the tobacco leaf. This is a soft soap, you know, very soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer some uh, into, I've got my Van Ule shave bowl here. So I'm gonna transfer some of it into here. Got the nice tobacco scent going. Almost like a luxury shave for me. I am gonna miss my goatee, but uh, I found myself just, you know, rolling it, uh, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, and it's annoying my uh, <laughs> my family when I'm doing that. So uh, I probably, well, I will be growing it back for no shade in November. All right, let me wet the face and get ready here. I, ha I have not an Wilson on. I put it on about uh, three hours ago and I've just wet my face and man, I can smell it again. Uh, the, the scent came back. So, I mean, it's been on me. It's just, you know, you get used to a scent and then it, uh, it kind of disappears. And I do, I do like the scent of it. All right. Synthetic should be a no brainer, but I've got a lot of whiskers now. see how it does. One thing about synthetic brushes is, you know, it doesn't matter what brand you're going with, you kind of get used to how they handle. Oh yeah. Man, it was going pretty long, huh? I'm gonna clog up that, uh, that rinse bowl I have in the sink. Sure, I don't inhale this. Normally I'd use pre-shave, but I have not done that today. Been scratching my nose, so it looks a little red. I apologize. Yeah. That's what I get. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer here. a spot. This is going to be interesting. All right, so let's start taking this mess down. Oh yeah. I feel the aggression immediately. Get the angle up a little, make it a little less aggressive. Here we go. That doesn't clog this, nothing will. Uh, takes it right off, man. Oh, got me. We'll do this gradually.
this goatee's long for me. I mean, it's at least over an inch long, the hair, so. Oh, I think I bit myself again. That, you can feel when you're biting yourself with that R40 monitor. Look at that. Let's get that off of there. Oh, yeah. Let there be blood. <laughs> Dang. That's a lot of whiskers. Okay. Second pass will clean it up. Yeah, I got myself right there because I held the angle too deep and I cut myself. Normally, people use an electric... Hey, who's that guy? Oh, it's Clean Cut Ken. This is getting clogged. All right. There we go. Yeah, much better. Oh, the things I do for the channel. Could have electric razor that down and then uh, shaved and it would have been no big deal. Not that bad. Let's clean it a bit more. Where I don't want to cut myself is up here because that takes a long time to heal. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah, gross. All right. My goatee's never been that long. I usually, the, the length of the hair is usually about half an inch. That was over an inch. That was a beard length goatee. Definitely not the Don Johnson look from Miami Vice. The young guys are going, what? Who the hell is Don Johnson? And what the hell is Miami Vice? Right. Whew. Okay, the hard part's done. Very nice. I'm not talking when I'm cutting the lip or shaving the lip. I don't want to be cutting the lip. Oh, you got me a bit. I'm going to pause this and grab my doggone Allen block, I think. When I'm done. Not so bad. The odds were one to one that I was going to cut myself. And I did. One, two, three. Four or five places. I'm not going to blame the razor or the blade. I'm going to blame the operator because I can tell I did not have the right angle. I was uh, digging deep. I should have had a shallower angle on that. All right. That means... Ah, that feels weird. Weird.
there we go. Not so bad. Little weeper. Let me get my uh, Allen block. I'm going to pause a second because my wife has cleaned up. It's going to take me a minute to find it. All right, that took about two minutes, but I found my dry dock, found my Allen block. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Kind of stopped anyway, but now that's going to restart it. Not bad. Looks like I had an ingrown hair there that I topped off. It's not really bleeding anymore. Yay! You don't use them all the time, but man, when you do, they are very helpful. All right. Little neutral here. And this one came from Germany. This bottle. It's a little different. It's European. Ooh, I taste that album. Ugh. All right, a little bit. A little bit. No alcohol, but oh, it helps. The, helps the pour. Now. You don't want, well, you know, you guys know, you don't drown yourself in expensive cologne. It, it'll just overpower you. I'm going to just put a little, a little bit of this on. Hmm. Right away that scent hits you. Very nice. And I can feel the burning, but not terribly. All right. Bon viveur. It's going on my shelf that I keep right here, where I keep the colognes that I use all the time, especially when I'm going out. So there we go. Clean Cut Ken is back. Thank you very much for watching. I've got links and descriptions, full descriptions, inside the body of this video. And I will be uh, finishing my uh, giveaway video soon. This one's going to come out this morning. Look for the uh, results of that giveaway probably this weekend. Thank you very, very much for uh, watching. I do appreciate it. It's good to be here with you. I enjoy sharing my time with you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. And I think I noticed, uh, I think you'll notice that the picture is hung up again. It had fallen off. I used that two-sided tape. So far, everything is good. The only thing I've noticed is Ava Green. That's Ava Green, an autograph from, uh, uh, come on, Casino Royale. And, uh, you can't really see her because she's uh, blinded by the light there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Stay safe.